How's everyone doing? It's PR here and I'm back at you with another video. Just got breakfast going home. This is a video response to this event that happened last night. I think they're going to take a tight end. Because the Cowboys might draft a tight end because of Witten. Oh yeah, here we go. David Akers, he's about to... Too bad he doesn't have a Super Bowl ring. That makes everything a lot better. The sensei. What's up, Dallas? <laughs> I know, I know, I know, he, he said it twice. <laughs> they won the eating contest. <laughs> I wanted Fumagalli. I knew they were going to pick a tight end. Did I not say that? <laughs> He's from the population. You know, he kind of looks like Brent Selleck. <laughs> this is their first pick. <laughs> what? I know. Right? <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> It doesn't eat McDonald's anymore. I know he will be eating some McDonald's hamburgers. Uh, Vander Esch. Wow. That, that's like that's like the that's like that Carson Wentz moment or the Jared Goff moment. I have no idea how Geis is was not picked. He'll be a backup tight end, but uh, I wanted I wanted to Magali. Yeah, I saw that. It does look like Brent Selleck. <laughs> that smile is like yeah. He's got a douchey smile. <laughs> so that speech by David Akers was thoroughly entertaining. I was thoroughly entertained by that speech and everything that he said in it because they were things that needed to be said. Last year, Drew Pearson, Hall of Fame wide receiver for the Dallas Cowboys, came to Philadelphia for the draft and kind of made a diss track a uh, diss rant towards the Philadelphia Eagles kind of like a backhanded slap if if you were to say and I was I was also entertained by that I thought it was pretty funny what I didn't really like was the fact that he made the Philadelphia Eagles fans and a few of the former players uh, Brian Westbrook and Brian Dawkins I believe they were he kind of made them dance I'm always one of those people who if somebody if someone kind of like disses me like that or they kind of they don't really criticize me with any sort of ammo I'm not even I'm not even gonna respond there's no there's no use in responding to something like that because like many will say you're just dancing for them it's out of jest it's out of 
kind of something that was really fun. I think it's hilarious because of the fact that about a quarter, maybe even a fifth of the Dallas Cowboys fan base probably didn't even know who Drew Pearson was before he even made that speech. But it was entertaining nonetheless. He stood up there. He was confident in what he said. And it was it was kind of like, you, you could say at the time it might have been like clowning on your younger brother or something like that, or a younger sibling. But I thank Drew Pearson every single day for that speech because that speech was the catalyst that helped the Eagles get the monkey off their back or the monkeys, period, because there are many monkeys, and, w and finally win the Super Bowl. So now us Eagles fans actually have those bragging rights. I know Skip Bayless... You know, or Skip Baseless, excuse me, got up on Twitter and was like, oh, you know, a kicker isn't a real player. Well, guess what, Skip? You're not a real sports journalist, and you're not even a real Cowboys fan. So get out of there with that bull. So David Akers does his speech, and I thought the speech was very entertaining. But and, and I'm a huge David Akers fan. He's an all-pro. He's a he's a perennial pro bowler. He's one of the greatest kickers of my generation. If kickers went to the Hall of Fame, he would be one of those candidates to go to the Hall of Fame. That's how good he was. I think he's kicked the longest field goal kick in NFL history. I think it's either 63 or 64 yards. Either way, he kicked a really long one at one point in time with the San Francisco 49ers. But... I don't think he was the right guy to do it. I really don't. I think they they should have found a way to get Jason Kelsey down there in that getup just to, just to make that speech. And I'm not saying it's because of the fact that I don't like David Akers or I didn't like the speech. No, it's none of that. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the speech. It's just the fact that he's up there and he's saying, you know, uh, the Philadelphia Eagles are world champions and... And the Dallas Cowboys fans, or most of them, were not alive when the Dallas Cowboys last won their Super Bowl, or the only way they can watch it is on VHS. And while, in a sense, I do agree with those sentiments, he doesn't have a ring. He didn't win one with the Philadelphia Eagles. So it kind of diminishes that effect, even though you could argue that, oh, maybe he, he considered himself an Eagles fan when the Eagles won the Super Bowl. So in, in a sense, we all got a ring for that. But I think he was the wrong guy to say it. I think that he delivered the message relatively well. I think he was a little bit nervous up there. But, I, I you know, he said what needed to be said. In an effect, Drew Pearson won the battle. But... To follow up with that, Drew Pearson lost the war because I credit that speech by Drew Pearson to be one of the reasons why the Eagles won the Super Bowl. And last year, the Dallas Cowboys, who were supposed to win the division, who were supposed to go 13-3, and who were supposed to repeat as division champs and go to the Super Bowl, did not. They had... They they cursed themselves. They had one of the worst follow-up seasons that a team could have after a season like that. So, I, I find it in all in good fun, all in good jest. But I also believe that a speech like that does not need to be made. All you have to do is get up there and say, with the with the 49th overall pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Super Bowl champion select, and then you make the pick. I feel like that's all that needed to be said. But it was good entertainment, and I, I laughed. I thought it was funny. I thought it was really good. But I don't think it was as good as, as the way Drew Pearson said it. Because of his confidence, because of the way he got up there. But mark my words, I thank Drew Pearson every day for saying that, or what he said. Because thank God for Drew Pearson. Because if it hadn't been for him, if it hadn't been for him jinxing his Dallas Cowboys like that, we might not have a ring today. And that's all I have. It's PR. Peace. I'm out. See ya.